Okay, question two. So um, in the video for question one, we talked about the difference between validation and verification, where validation is just setting up rules and making sure that the data meets those rules. Um, so let's have a look. A type of validation check is a length check. Another type of validation check is used to make sure that any date entered is in the day day slash month month slash year 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 style. So we've got DD means day, MM means month, and YYYYY means year. State the type of validation check used. So um, there are only a few types of validation that you're expected to know. So we've got um, the data type, we've got the uh, length check, range check, uh, presence check, whether it's there or not. And the last one for this is the format check. So the format check is just a way of making sure the data is in a precise type of format. So in this case, we need an, um, uh, two numbers, two integers for the day, two integers for the month, and then four integers for the year, with the slashes as well. We could use a format checks for things like postcodes, where you want a letter, a letter, a number, a number, a number, and then two letters, or even for um, telephone numbers as well, where you might have um, a certain number of um, digits for the uh, area code and then a certain number of digits for the number as well. So validation check used is format and then uh, give one example of normal test data and one example of abnormal test data. State a reason for each of your choices. So normal data would be something that we might expect. So we could say something like the 12th of the 4th, 2024. So that's normal data. The reason, the reason that we want to have that test data is to, uh, I guess we want to make sure that it's working or make sure that correct date accepted. Okay, abnormal data. Now with abnormal data, um, if you're ever asked to put in abnormal data, don't be tempted to put in something like, for in this case, cat, because what they're looking for is they're looking for you to appreciate that nobody's going to type in something completely random like that, but they might try and fill in the, uh, the, the data but get something wrong. So we'll see there's an example in the mark scheme. We'll, we'll do something um, a little bit different here. Let's have a look. So... Uh, what we could do is we could say for abnormal data, so we could say the 12th of the 4th, and I could put in 24. So, to all intents and purposes, that is the, a correct way of writing a date, but it's actually not the, um, the not the style or the way of writing the date that our program is going to accept. So, um, reason. Um, this is a common way to write a date, but should not accepted by the validation. Describe how a length check could be used with the date entered. So, um, so for a length check, we're obviously looking for the number of correct number of characters. Now, depending on how you approach this, um, you could suggest that the forward slashes are just placeholders and will already be there on the screen. Now, if you're going to do that, you need to make that clear in your answer. I'm just going to go ahead and just count. So we have. Looking at the top here, we got day, day, slash, month, month, slash, year, 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 year. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten characters, including the slashes. So describe how the last check could be used for the date entered. Um, check. Data entered is... 10 characters 
exactly reject any more or less. Okay, let's just check out the mark scheme for this one. So we have format checked for the first one, and you can see with the examples, we've got normal data, um, and their reason is the date is in correct format should be accepted. So yeah, I've got accepted there. So that's what they're looking for. They will say, well, that should be accepted. Abnormal data, they've got, they've written um, just DEC for December. So the month is not written in the correct format, should be rejected. So um, I've got my example, which that should be rejected. I haven't written it in the correct format, and I've said this is a common way to write a date, but should not be accepted by the validation. So here, where I've said not be accepted, I'm essentially saying um, it basically should be rejected. So I, I, I'm very happy with that. I'm going to get that mark there. And C, describe the length check, how the length could be used. So they're basically saying they're looking for the fact that you've identified that it should be 10 characters, and if any are more or less characters they should be rejected which is pretty much what I've got here check the data entered is 10 characters exactly reject any more or less so that's fine so that's pretty good I mean I do look at the mark scheme sometimes before answering these questions but I think sometimes it's better for me to just try and approach it as uh, somebody sitting in the exam might approach it so yeah pretty happy with that one let's stop this one and move on to question three